seated in the auditorium are family and friends who have in many different ways supported these candidates to reach the goal represented by this ceremony. On the platform are the college faculty and staff who've motivated, encouraged, and inspired these students as they completed their coursework and their college experience. And before us are the candidates for graduation who've become good friends, mentors, and colleagues, developing lifelong relationships that will serve them well as they move into the future together. We join then as members of an extended support network to celebrate the involvement with these candidates and to witness their accomplishment. That celebration now begins. Presiding over this commencement ceremony is the president of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, Dr. Davy Jane Gilmore. Good morning. Good. And welcome to the spring commencement exercises of the Pennsylvania College of Technology. Now before I get to my formal welcome, let's go over a few ground rules. This is normally where we tell people to turn off your cell phones, turn down the ringtone, no texting, etc. This is Penn College. We do things a little different. I don't expect you to turn off your cell phones. I expect you to post on Facebook. I expect you to post on Twitter, Instagram. We want to hear about your celebration today. I'm going to start. It's hashtag PCT grad, just in case you need some help. It's your day, it's your time to celebrate. So now to the formal welcome. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to say the word spring in relationship to commencement. Most of us were not sorry to see the departure as delayed as it was of that season that we will not name. It makes me even happier to speak on behalf of the college's administration, faculty, and staff, the class of 2015's other family for the past several years. It is with considerable pride that we look out today upon all of you, surely not as dotingly as your parents, your spouses, and your friends, but we are here because we have a sincere interest in your arrival thus far and with genuine curiosity about where your journeys will lead you. This is the time when we check the ledger and we realize that we've kept our bargain to each other. You have given us your attention and your persistence, your dedication and your hard work, and we have given you the tools to fashion your way through an exciting world. I expect that your next few hours will be hectic, but in this brief window between your career preparedness and your actual career, I hope you find time to honor your achievement. Your Penn College years have not been without challenges. There have been financial challenges, emotional challenges, and personal hurdles. Unfortunately, the reality is that those will not end today with your graduation. But I know and I trust that you are better prepared now to conquer them in the future. You will use the tools that you've learned in your arsenal, and you will give them the same excitement and confidence that I saw when I met you at Connections. Alongside your family's encouragement and this college's guiding hand, you have accomplished something wonderful. With many of your faculty supporters seated behind me and with well-wishers seated all around you, please acknowledge the role that they have had in your success. But I want you to make sure that you make a promise with me today, that you will take a few minutes in the midst of all the hugs and the celebrations to celebrate one overriding fact. You could not have done this without you. <laughs> to each of the students who leave here with my best wishes for happiness and a rewarding future, I say to you and your loved ones to witness this magical transformation on commencement in this beautiful community arts center and have a beautiful day. Thank you. I'd like to now introduce Mr. Elliot Strickland. 
Chief Student Affairs Officer. Mr. Strickland. President Gilmore, Mr. Johnson, Provost Starkey, distinguished faculty and staff, family, friends, and most importantly, the May 2015 graduating class. It is my great pleasure this morning to introduce your student commencement speaker, Andrew Manley. I'd like to start with a quote from one of Andrew's two nominators, and it states, Andrew represents some of the best qualities that Penn College students have to offer. He is smart, passionate about his career, warm and kind, and conscientious about his work. Now, when I hear about Andrew's accomplishments, I find it difficult to believe that he had time for anything other than his academic pursuits. But Andrew is not one to focus only on himself. He works constantly to make those around him better and more successful. He served as a peer mentor for STEM freshmen. He was founder and president of the Association of Professional Programmers, vice president of Alpha Chi National Honor Society, worked as a math and information technology tutor, and served the student body as a member of the Student Government Association. He was on the programming team for the 2014 Consortium of Computer Science and Colleges Programming Competition, and he will serve as leader of our team for the 2015 competition. Andrew's other nominator wrote, often he is the first one to find a solution to a seemingly impossible problem. Today, Andrew graduates summa cum laude with a dual major in information technology sciences, gaming and simulation, and software development and information management, and a minor in mathematics. He's graduating with a 3.98 GPA, and if you do the math correctly, which of course Andrew would, that means over two majors and a minor in some of our most rigorous programs, he earned only one B. And you know who you are. <laughs> Please welcome your 2015 student commencement speaker, Mr. Andrew S. Manley. Wow, a lot of people. <laughs> well, hello everyone, and thank you, Elliot Strickland, for that introduction. I wanna start by thanking the family, faculty, and friends, and of course, the students who are attending this event today. It's a real pleasure to see so many people here uh, supporting my fellow classmates. There are a number of people I'd like to thank for assisting me in getting me here, but I'll be brief. First, I'd like to thank Dr. Golsham, for this nomination to be the commencement speaker, as well as all support through the years. Additionally, I would like to thank the faculty and staff that have pushed me and my classmates to achieve so much and to always strive for more. Naturally, I would like to extend a special thank you to my family and my friends for everything that they have done for me and always supporting me. Finally, I would like to thank all of you, the Pennsylvania class of 2015, all right. As a gamer, these past few weeks have felt like the final level of a four-year campaign. We've all spent time, energy, focus, rage, and sometimes what we can only describe as mana to get to where we are today. Among us, we have what I would consider the wizards who have found success through extensive study and possibly even a bit of magic. Furthermore, there are the warriors among us who have made it here through extensive willpower and brute force. And let's not forget the rogues that have been able to slide through with their own achievements, of course. Basically, what I'm trying to say is however you got here, be it a 4.0 or 2. anything, we still all accomplished everything that we set out to do. And that's amazing. Throughout college, we have had many challenges that have all shaped who we are today. On our quest here at the Pennsylvania College of Technology, we have all learned a variety of skills 
that have helped shape us and have helped us finish our adventure. But as we get ready to graduate and enter the workforce, it's important to remember that we're not done yet. A diploma alone is not enough to generate success. It may open doors for us, yes, but what we do with these opportunities, it's upon, it's upon us. In order for us to be successful, we will all need to continue our quest for knowledge every day by continuing to learn new skills outside of the classroom through hard work and persistence. If you don't take anything else from this speech, the one thing I want everyone here to know is to not be afraid to try something new, to follow your dreams even if you might fail along the way. For many of us right now, we're beginning to look towards after graduation as you're trying to decide where you might want to end up and what you might want to end up be doing. And I want you to understand, don't be afraid to take some risk. Don't be afraid to try something unusual. And I'm not saying that it will be easy. What I'm saying is you might fail, and frankly, that's OK. One of the hardest things that I've had to do here at the college was actually doing this speech. Coming up with ideas, writing it, giving it here right now to all these people. <laughs> if you know me at all, then you know just how extremely far this is outside my comfort zone. This speech plays off of just about every one of my weaknesses without using any of my strengths. You're probably wondering, well, why on earth would you give a speech in front of hundreds of people if you didn't think you could handle it? I know, I've been asking myself that question a lot. The answer is simple. I want to be challenged, and I want to learn more. For those of you that play video games, you understand that failure is inevitable. Think of some of the games we all love so much. Tetris, Asteroids, even Flappy Birds. These games are built for us to lose. But losing doesn't stop us. On the contrary, it's what keeps us going. It's what drives us to do better and gives us more information we didn't have next time so that next time we play, we can do better. My point is, is that now that college is over, failure probably seems like a luxury that we can no longer afford, that we were supposed to try everything we wanted to during college, and now, from now on, everything we have to have perfect decisions about everything we do. But that's not the case. Put yourself out there and follow your dreams. See what happens and learn from the experiences. To finish the last few moments of my college career, I'd just like to emphasize that uh, for all of you, my education is not over. I may not be attending classes every day, but I'll soon be experiencing new and exciting opportunities that will shape my future for the better. I have the Pennsylvania College of Technology to thank for that. They provided the tools necessary for me to forge my own path and decide the person I want to be. As we all take the next step into our adult lives, we will never forget who got us here. Our family, loved ones, friends, companions, classmates, and the professors that never lost patience with us and supported us through the whole thing. We should all be extremely proud of ourselves. The battle has been won. Graduating class of 2015, thank you for letting me represent you, and congratulations to every single one of you. And that, my friends, is why we come to work every day, because of students like that and those in front of us. Today, it's my pleasure to present the Mentorship Award. The Mentorship Award recognizes alumni, individuals, or businesses that have made a significant, ongoing contribution to the education and development of Penn College students by providing mentorship opportunities or professional guidance. This year's recipient is Michael K. Patterson, a member of our welding faculty who earned a certificate in that field. Yes, there are welders here today. He earned a certificate from the Williamsport Area Community College in 1977. That's a really special year for me, Mike. I don't know if you know, but that's my first year here at the college. I was 12, I don't know how old you were. <laughs> He has shown uh, the students much wisdom since 1977. While employing the hands-on skills of welders at work, he has subversively allowed them to appreciate 
the satisfaction of artists at play. His teaching style is among his gifts to students, and their combined efforts resulted in the last year in a lasting gift to our community as a whole. The project is called Student Bodies, a parade of 78 life-size human forms that mutely march through the heart of our campus, welded by more than 50 students to last a century or more. One of our three centennial art installations, it is a visually stunning and breathtaking piece of art. It's playful, it's whimsical, it's life-affirming, and in a word, it's one of the coolest things to ever hit our campus. That's no stranger to cool, and it looks equally amazing in the sunlight and in the snow. When Mike received his part-time teaching and excellence award in 2013, I mentioned his eclectic background that includes employment from a small fabrication shop to nuclear power plants to 10 years in Antarctica and two decades as a metalworking artist. He channels that vast experience, aided by his enviable skill as a storyteller, to the eternal benefit of his students. And I quote, take the metal to places it's never been, end quote. He tells them and they willingly and happily go along for the ride. As we congratulate Mike Patterson, artist, instructor, and this year's winner of the Alumni Mentorship Award, there is one more thing that Mike doesn't know about. I mentioned a few minutes ago that he earned a welding certificate as a young working man 38 years ago. But in real life circumstances being what they were, he never actually received his certificate. So Mike, we're gonna correct that today. And when I present you with your Alumni Award, I'm also a little late but it's timely, going to present you with your diploma. Congratulations, Mike. And your diploma. Thank you. You gotta get a handshake for that. It's an honor. Thank you. Well Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Gilmore. Thank you, Dr. Starkey. I'd like to thank the nominating committee, um, Dave Kotner, Tammy Rich, Debbie Miller, Barry Steger. You've all been great, and I don't really feel like I deserve this, but I want you to know that I think it's an amazing honor to be standing here in front of all of you. Some of you I've had the chance to teach, and that's been, that's been fabulous. A lot of you I've had the chance to work with. My fellow teachers in the welding department are an amazing bunch of human beings. They bring a level of expertise, patience, energy, creativity. Um, I could go on with a whole bunch of words, but it's just a wonderful place to be for five hours a day, the welding shop here at the Pennsylvania College of Technology. We have the opportunity in that shop to, as Davy Jane said, take the metal where it's never been. I want to extend a big thank you to my family. They certainly have put up with a lot over the years, many years, more years than I remember. Thank you, Dr. Gilmore, again. <laughs> um, and I want to thank the students, especially the students. I mean, they are what drive the teachers to get out of bed every single morning and put up with the things that students are capable of generating. <laughs> they have an energy. They have a desire. They have questions. They have so much. No matter how hard I prepare for a class or how much I try to show the students, by the end of the day, they have shown me more consistently every time. And that's why it's such a wonderful career. It's really, really fabulous, and it, it rocks me right to the bottom of my heart. Um, one of the things that's really, really important about being a welding instructor, and I'm happy to say that all my fellow welding instructors share this with me, is that you have to have a sense of humor. And if you can fold that sense of humor into your teaching, you will notice that the students pick up on it a little bit more. And this award that I'm receiving today is for mentorship, so I want to give you one final little bit of mentoring. Um, this morning I got up and I thought, this is going to be a high-stress day. So 
As I was getting out of the shower, looking at myself in the mirror, I thought there's going to be spotlights, there's going to be a lot of brightness, I'm going to be nervous. So I took the roll-on deodorant, and I rolled it over my head. <laughs> and I thought, this is a really good idea, why hasn't anybody thought of this yet? So the first thing that happens this morning is we walk into the little soiree upstairs and Cindy Mikesell, our amazing photographer, looks through the lens and says, Mike, we're getting a lot of shine off the top of your head. <laughs> so to my students and to all you other students, don't try the roll-on trick. It doesn't really work. <laughs> but seriously, um, I'm, I'm terribly honored to accept this award, and um, I feel very, very fortunate to have worked here for so long and hope to work here for a long time to come. It is a fabulous feeling to explain something to someone and show them and then to watch them do it and see the look in their face when they turn around because they know they nailed it. It's really, really great. And I'm sure that a measurable percentage of you will end up teaching at some point in your careers. I can only hope that you'll be lucky enough to be in an institution like this one. It's fabulous. And the only other words of wisdom I will give you besides the roll-on deodorant is that you should be the teacher that you would want to have. Thank you all very much. This has been a great honor. Over the past century, whether at Penn College or its forerunners, teaching has been at the very center of the institution's mission. It's an unwritten rule in higher education that you can't have college without students, and you certainly can't teach those students without knowledgeable and dedicated faculty to share their wisdom and their craft in tomorrow's workforce. Distinguished Teaching Awards are presented each May at commencement to full-time faculty members who have been nominated by students and colleagues for inspiring influence. By the end of this ceremony, three more honorees will have joined the impressive roster for those who have been selected since 1982. On Friday afternoon, we presented the first of the weekend's three excellence in teaching awards to Charles Niedermeyer II, instructor in baking and pastry and culinary arts. And today, we will honor two more deserving faculty. Life carries with it so few surprises that I'd like to keep these as quiet as long as I can before I provide enough background information to you to give it away. So here are a few slightly vague tidbits about today's honorees. First, uh, for the first recipient, a few comments from the nominators, and these are direct quotes. Grades hard to make you really work to get projects right the same way it's done in industry so that you are more confident in the end. Does not just teach from the book, he uses real world examples to make it useful. If he believes something is important in this trade, he makes sure you do it over and over until you get it right. If you need to stay and work, he'll stay with you. To me, he is the perfect instructor. He relays theoretical, technical, and life experiences clearly in all of his classes. He's a very down-to-earth type guy and can relate to students. I found his classes to be informal and easy to comprehend. There were times when I found some topics difficult, but he was very patient and always helped me understand. I find him to be an exceptional teacher, and I consider him to be my friend. I know I can always get help from him if I need it. Our honoree is a two-time graduate of Penn College, holding an associate degree in toolmaking and a bachelor's degree in manufacturing engineering technology. He is our very first baccalaureate graduate from this institution, and now he knows exactly who he is. I can add that he is a resoundingly applauded for his mentorship of the college's SAE Baja team, which has repeatedly reflected proudly on its roots in the School of Industrial Computing and Engineering Technologies. It is my honor to present the 2015 Excellence in Teaching Award to John G. Upcraft, Instructor, Automated Manufacturing and Machining.
I'll keep this short. I, I do need to thank um, the wonderful students that I have, um, as well as my wife and family, and I'm just gonna keep it short and say I'm really honored and thank you very much. And now the second of today's VIPs. Among the comments from his about this recipient, and these are quotes as well, he shows more enthusiasm for the subject he teaches than any other professor I've met. He always pushes students to achieve better results with projects they work on in class. If he's not an expert on the subject matter, he's willing to put his ego aside and ask a professional. He knows how to ask students leading questions to help facilitate their learning experience giving students the satisfaction of finding the correct answer on their own. He takes his own personal time after school to set up the lab for the next day's lessons. He's even willing to go out and buy necessary materials to facilitate learning. He makes sure we don't have to go without a lesson because lack of materials. His enthusiasm is an inspiration to all of us to be so involved with a subject matter so long after we complete the program. And this piece of honesty that only a student could get away with he comes in every morning looking completely tired, and yet you would never know it when you hear his voice. It will completely blow the surprise, but here are a few other things you should know about this faculty member. He has a bachelor's degree in workforce education and development from Penn State University. His students have entrusted him with some of the most priceless and iconic automobiles in existence and have refurbished them to award-winning museum quality condition on multiple occasions. Four of those vehicles were test driven two weeks ago by no less a car enthusiast than Jay Leno, who visited campus and was understandably impressed with the students in our automotive restoration technology major. Such national attention is not solely the work of an individual, but today's second honoree is truly a student advocate who has gone a long way to shine light on one of our newest and most popular majors and on a craft for which young participant practitioners are solely needed. It is my honor to present the 2015 Excellence in Teaching Award to Collision Repair Instructor Roy H. Klinger. I'd like to thank the administration and the faculty, um, the nominees. I am honored beyond words today. And I would like to especially thank the students. It's your hard work, it's your, it's your hands that made everything possible. Never treat a daily activity as a J-O-B, those who know that term. We've used it quite a bit. Treat every day with your passion and enjoy your career. Thank you. I couldn't be more proud. Those are two phenomenal teachers. Ladies and gentlemen, as many of you know, the legal corporate body of the Pennsylvania College of Technology is its board of directors. This is the body that, by our charter, is given final responsibility for the governance, welfare, and all other interests pertaining to the college. Though some responsibilities are delegated, ultimate authority rests with the board. At this time, I would like to call upon Mr. Steve Johnson, member of our board of directors, to authorize conferring of degrees at this ceremony. Mr. Johnson. Thank you very much, Dr. Starkey. And on behalf of the Board of Directors, I'd like to add my uh, congratulations and appreciation to each of the honorees tonight and to say a special thanks again to our student speaker this evening as well. Congratulations. This is a very special occasion for all of you. The degrees being awarded come from hard work, 
from guidance and wisdom of the faculty, and from the strong support of your family and friends. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I extend to all the graduates our congratulations and best wishes. And to all the supporting family, the faculty, and friends who've supported you and provided you with the sustenance to accomplish what you're being recognized for today. A special thank you to you as well. And now for my official duty. Dr. Gilmore, by virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Directors of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, I authorize you on behalf of the Board to confer on each of the candidates the degree earned as certified by the appropriate school dean. Will the candidates for, bachelor, for the Bachelor of Science degree please rise? <laughs> Dr. Gilmore, upon recommendation of the faculty, I'm pleased to inform you that these women and men have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree. Thank you. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, I do hereby confer upon you the Bachelor of Science degrees that you have earned with all of the rights and privileges and with congratulations from the Board of Directors, the administration, and the faculty. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will the candidates for all associate degrees and certificates please rise? <laughs> Dr. Gilmore, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I'm pleased to inform you that these men and women have satisfactorily completed the requirements for their respective associate degrees and certificates. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, I do hereby confer upon you the associate degrees and certificates that you have earned with all of the rights and privileges, and congratulations from the Board of Directors, the faculty, and the administration. Congratulations. Now, would the baccalaureate students please rise as well? You entered this theater not too long ago as candidates for the degrees that you have earned. And a few minutes ago, I conferred those degrees upon you as a symbol of your entry into the world of educated women and men. I ask you to join me and turn the graduation tassel as I do of your class representative. This will symbolize to the world that you are now in fact a graduate of the Pennsylvania College of Technology. Congratulations. You may be seated. As individuals and institutions, we all pass through clear stages of development, points in time when we grow into new roles and new responsibilities. This ceremony is one of the transition events for all graduates. Today, we will recognize individuals with academic honors. Outstanding academic achievement will be recognized for all students. The gold, silver, or white cords that they wear during their ceremonies, white for honors, silver for high honors, and gold for highest honors, can identify these students for you. Blue cords will signify academic achievement for certificate students. In addition, we're proud to recognize the graduates of the Alpha Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Their gold stoles and gold tassels will identify those students. Again, we are pleased to recognize the graduates of the Alpha Chi Honor Society, and white stoles will identify those students. We would like to recognize our veterans, identified by red, white, and blue cords, who are graduating, including those who have served on active duty, as well as those who are currently serving in all branches of the military. And I would ask our veteran students to please rise. And 
Would you remain standing? I'd like to tell you a little bit about our veteran students. Three of them have a purple heart. Seven of them have bronze stars. 61 of them have Iraq campaign medals, and 44 of them have Afghanistan campaign medals. We are very proud of our veterans. You may be seated. At this time, Dr. Carolyn Strickland, Vice President for Enrollment Management and Associate Provost, will assist in the presenting of the candidates and or the graduates and getting of the diplomas. Now, we only ask that you keep an official area down here available for our photographer. Otherwise, you may feel free to come down and take pictures as you'd like to capture the moment. And with that, our ceremony begins. President Gilmore. <laughs> Good morning. I'm, pre I'm present, presenting the graduates of the Information Technology Department, and within there is a Bachelor in the inaugural candidates for the gaming and simulation. Dennis L. Arnold. Barch. Yep. Jared Thomas Barch. Hummel. Colby N. Hummel. Matthew R. Culp. Ray. Hmm? Ray. Mm -hmm. Daniel Ray Platt. Roger Vernon Prelo Jr. Barrett G. Schaefer. Alec William Soxo. Spear. Michael Lee Spear. Adam H. Wise. Matthew A. Bamonte. Dustin W. Colburn. James Robert Henderson. Scott Allen Cugadell. Tom Cugadell. Michael Paul Masden. Dylan Nevin Murray. Perez. Yes. Melvin Perez. Scott Michael Robertson. Dominic Dean York. Joshua L. Blank. Tyler J. Durham. Madeline May Lanou. David M. Mossop. Joseph T. Pexy. What's happening? Lance R. Roan. William Peter Thomas. Douglas Stephen Wilson. Derek, Derek Edward T.A.
Zachary Joseph Glenn Zimmerman. Berg. Yeah. David M. Berg. Busby. Yep. Christopher J. Busby. Cantalina. Yeah. Michael W. Cantalina. Michael Paul Frank. Benjamin John Leskovansky. I'm on my card. Tell me your name. Evan William McCann. Ivan William. Evan William McCann. Evan William McCann. Yes. Evan William McCann. President Gilmore, it is my honor to present the graduates of Computer Aided Product Design, Engineering Design Technology, Engineering CAD Technology within the School of Industrial Computing and Engineering Technologies. Joshua Edward Bikorski. Jonathan F. Deroner. Jonathan F. Deroner. <laughs> Nicholas Robert Cassidy. Eric Michael Jandel. Michael Soffit Castret. Michael Soffit Castret. Kevin G. Carney. Benjamin Chase Richardson. Sanceri. Kyle Anthony Sanceri. Justin Robert Vent. Yeah. John David Wiest. Babula. Babula. Tyler John Babula. Bullier. Angela Joy Bollinger. Heidi M. Hedden. Rory. Rory. Rory J. Moon. Mariah B. Port. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of Building Automation Technology, Building Automation Technology, Electrical Technology Concentration, Electrical Technology, Electromechanical Maintenance Technology, Renewable Energy Technologies, Electrical Occupations, and mechatronics engineering technology, all within the School of Industrial Computing and Engineering Technologies. Jordan Scott McGowan. Hamad Abdullah Al Khanifa. Hamad Abdullah Al Khanifa. Al Khanifa. Hamad Abdullah Al Khanifa. <laughs> Luke Robert Burt. <laughs> Timothy Brian Boring. Bradley E. Brent. Caramel. Caramel. Joseph M. Caramella. Carano. Thank you. Thomas D. Carano. Brendan, not Brandon. And then Brendan, Carol. Brendan. Yeah. Brendan Patrick Carroll. Giuseppe DeLuca. Christian H. Dressler. Christopher Scott France. Hagen. Yes. Alexander J. Hagen. Alexander James Hilton. Hubler. Yes. Scott D. Hubler. Marlon. Marlon J. Crawl. Elijah J. Miklos. Jasper Warren Ocker the third. Richland. Mm -hmm. Tyrell A. Richland. Yeah. Corey Michael Roth. Slavery. Yes. 
Samuel Lloyd Swavely. Andrew Jared Zimmer. Todd Mitchell Barnes. Cram. Jacob Addison Cram. Don Moyer. Don Moyer yes. Chase Richard Don Moyer. Kikinda. Nicholas Andrew Kakinda. Christopher Michael Lafey. Ryan L. Matthews. Spangenberg. Spangenberg. Tyler Scott Spangenberg. Matthew S. Streeter. Matthew S. Streeter. Kirkland Michael Turner. Cord, Arend. Cord, Arend. Cord L. Arend. Dylan. Philip E. Dillon. Jameson. Yep. Eric J. Jameson. Cluck. Mm -hmm. Gary Joseph Cluck. Go ahead. Caleb J. Parrish. Stugart. Tyler Michael Stugart. Darian Ebersol. Yep. Darian Lee Ebersol. Colin Francis Edgar. <laughs> Nicholas F. Gaviola. Derek I. Barnes. Dalius. Yep. Ethan Charles Dalius. Lamlin. Michael John Lamlin. Zitzman. William M. Zitzman. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of Electronics and Computer Engineering Technology Bachelors. Scott. Electronics and Computer Engineering Technology Associates, Electronics and Computer Engineering Emphasis, Robotics and Automation Emphasis within the School of Industrial Computing and Engineering Technologies. Taylor Mitchell Bird. Sharice M. Bova. Anthony Rocco Sharon. Matthew Gregory Cummings. Daniel Harris Flynn. Philip E. Hill, Jr. Corin. Thomas James Corin. Benjamin Robert Mix. Cody H. Renninger. Kyle Jacob Shirk. Bikorski. Nicholas R. Bikorski. Dersham? Yes. Caleb Joseph Dersham. Calvin John Faust. Alan Michael Meck. Alexander Robert Miller. John D Joseph David Miller. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Roman J. Shikitano. John William Swink III. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of Applied Technology Studies, Manufacturing Engineering Technology, Machine Tool Technology, Machinist General, within the School of Industrial Computing and Engineering Technologies. Cameron Todd Arthur. August? Yep. 
Andrew Dean Bogus. Brumbaugh. James Kenneth Brumbaugh. John C. Yes. John C. Capek. Dietrich. Dietrich. Yeah. Andrew Douglas Dietrich. Hardenstein. Yeah. Kenneth Michael Hardenstein. Nicholas J. Judge. Mahone. Yeah. Eric J. Mahone. Myers. So, yes. John Andrew Myers. Michael Ziegler. Michael Allen Ziegler. Dylan D. King. David Grant Conrad. Devaney. Devaney? Yep. Dominic J. Devaney. Dakota George Endress. Dakota George Endress. Brett R. Hummel. Egler. Joshua P. Egler. Scott Shelby Miller. Thank you, sir. Sahid Salama. Sahid. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of Plastics and Polymer Engineering Technology and Plastics and Polymer Technology within the School of Industrial Computing and Engineering Technology. Saeed Salama Alanazi. Sadun. Sadun. Say it one more time. Sadun. Sadun. Sadun Razek Alanazi. Faisal Ahmad Faisal Ahmad Alagamandi. Abdulik Ahmad Aman Asaf. Ali Hassan Almidaf. Ali Hassan Almidaf. Ali Hassan Amadahar. Al Shahiri. Ali Sahid Al Shahiri. Stephen. Stephen E. Bassler. Delmo. Yep. Brittany L. Delmo. Sean R. Gum. Muhammad Ahmed Conway. Muhammad Ahmed Conway. Muhammad Ahmed Conway. Matthew Kyle Peterman. Brian Thomas Robinson. Sam Shida. 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 Samuel Reed Shida. Troyano. Troyano. Ryan Nicholas Troyano. Bellum. Yes. Scott Ryan Bellum. Keith Allen Hicks. Hi, it's uh, Austin Albano. 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 Yeah. Thanks. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of Welding and Fabrication Engineering Technology, Welding Technology, Welding, Albano. all yeah. within Albano. the School of Industrial yeah. Computing and Engineering Albano. Technologies. Albano. Yeah, Jake. Thank you. Austin Love Albano. <laughs> Evan O. Barrow. Barely. Evan A. Barely. Bradford A. Davis. Chris Dolan. 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 Christopher D. Dolan. Anders. Anders. Yeah. Anders Thomas Felton. <laughs> James David Flam Jr. Glenn Gerbrick. 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 Glenn T. Gerbrick. Alta Hardenstein. Alta, 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 Alta Louise Hardenstein. Daniel Kudrowski. Kudrowski. Yep. Daniel James Kudrowski. Sorry. Kokonowski. Kokonowski. Mark Owen Kokonowski, the second. Craigline. Craigline. Ethan Franklin Craigline. 
Lutner? Yep. Cody Alexander Lutner. Jacob Andrew Lindsay. Colby Douglas Maycumber. 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 Colby Douglas Maycumber. Arthur Arthur McConnell. Arthur. 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 Richard Arthur McConnell. Tyler T. McDonald. Tyler T. McDonald. Christopher Frank Proctor. Alex Rose. I dropped my name. Alex Rose. Rose. That's it, Alex. Alex Rose. James Rose. Alex James Rose. Alec Matthew Shreppel. Justin Michael Stevens. Devin Andrew Whiteman. Matthew Taylor Williams. Mark D. Winder. Joshua. I didn't have my card. I dropped it on the way. Tell me the rest of your name. Joshua Maurice Berg. Joshua. Maurice Berg. Joshua Maurice Berg. M A U R I C. Joshua Maurice Berg. Dylan Burge. Dylan Thomas Burge. Landfest. Jared Landfest Carr. Kasher? Yep. Jacob J. Kasher. Jordan P. Felix. Gaudy. Yeah. Michael B. Gaudy. Krafinski? Krafinski, yeah. Michael A. Krafinski, Jr. Just give me a second. Michael Warren Lee. You want me to say Warren? Warren. Michael Warren Lee. Lepinus. Oh, no. Adam Joseph Lepenis. There you go. Montoya? Yeah. Michael Montoya. O. Is it Teague? Yep. Teague W. O. Samasic. Samasic. James Patrick Samasic. Tristan Kevin Smith. Brett Adam Trimble the second. Garrett Bryce Valentine. Wummer. Nicholas K. Wummer Jr. Angeli. Angeli. Yep. Kyle Edward Angeli. Bumbolski. Dean Michael Bumbolski. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of Automotive Technology Management, Automotive Technology, Automotive Technology Ford Asset Emphasis, Automotive Technology Honda Pact Emphasis, Automotive Service Technician within the School of Transportation and Natural Resources Technologies. Papu? Yep. Joel Michael Papu. Yeah. All the way up, guys. <laughs> Kevin Thomas Beverly. Yeah. Brian? Yes. Colton Jacob Bryan. Easy one. Paul Alexander Evans. Jose Ferreira. Ferreira? Yeah. Jose? Yeah. Jose Luis Ferreira Jr. <laughs> Tyler L. Hoffman. Evan Robertson Hughes. Evan Robertson Robertson Hughes. Zach D. McCurdy. McCurdy? Yeah. Zach D. McCurdy. Daniel Peter Reynolds. Catherine G. Wise. Nicholas J. Young. Byers. Byers. 
Robert Eric Byers. Bolner. Yeah, Bolner. Yeah. David Anthony Bolner. Just Alexander S. Clark. Alexander S. Clark. Leftwich. Uh, yeah. Austin C. Leftwich. Rubendahl. Yep. Derek Nolan Rubendahl. Shear. Benjamin Jacob Shear. George T. Sticka. Strumsky. Yep. Colin Michael Strumsky. Tumulty. Evan M. Tumulty. Cameron K. Upton. Wimbrough. Wimbrough. Yep. Christopher Thomas Wimbro. Uh, Burmester. 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 Benjamin Francis Burmester. Colvin. Riley William Colvin. Kane E. Hershey. Elaine, Elaine Skip Johnson. <laughs> Elaine Skip Johnson. <laughs> Brooklyn Morse. Brooklyn A. Morse. Reinheimer? Yep. Nicholas J. Reinheimer. Sechrist. Mitchell J. Sechrist. Brandon P. Swope. Tenalia. 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 Yep. Aaron James Tenalia. Christopher J. Conklin. Can you say the middle of anything? I can. Could you not? Just Ian. Elwell. Ian Elwell. <laughs> Derek Christopher Farrell. <laughs> Jared Zachary Frederick. <laughs> Kevin Anthony Gregg. Corey Joseph Hirschberger. <laughs> Hold on so they can hear your name. Nicholas Wayne Holland. The last name just pronounced Leon. Leon? Yep. Arnold C. Leon. Andrew David Olson. Dylan Eugene Orris. <laughs> Daniel Shapiro Robinson. <laughs> Joseph P. Rumsey. <laughs> Jacob D. Valva. <laughs> Tommy Ray Walton. President Gilmore, I present yes. graduates of Aviation Maintenance Technology, Aviation Technology, and Aviation Maintenance Technician within the School of Transportation and Natural Resources Technologies. Simeon Randolph de Barros. Ryan Lee Eberhardt. Ryan Lee Eberhardt. Fertig. Yep. Hans J. Fertig. Fraunfelter. Todd L. Fraunfelter, Jr. Jordan Lee Geiger. Sean Thomas Kolakowski. Aaron J. Prince. Michael Gerard Reginella. How do you say that? Stoyanov. Try it. Martin Igor Stoyanov. Alper Burkant Tan. Jacob Robert Tuck. Shane Zachary Duke. Curtis E. Schmelzley. <laughs> Ra 
Frederick Robert Harder. Katherine Katherine Dale Larson. Dale Larson. President Gilmore, I present to you the graduates of Automotive Restoration Technology, Collision Repair Technology, Collision Repair Technician within the School of Transportation and Natural Resources Technologies. Louis Benet. <clears throat> Jonathan M. Eldred. Sean Matthew Hunter. How do you say that? Oh, Cashel. Mm -hmm. Mitchell R. Cashel. <laughs> Joseph Michael Kretz. David Heiser? Yep. Zachary R. David Heiser. <laughs> Zachary R. Graybill. <laughs> Herbert Mangello? Mangello. Jonathan Herbert Mangillo. It's Mitchell E. Myers. Mitchell E. Myers. Yes, I Mitchell E. Myers. Royer. Yeah. Chad L. Royer. Stars. Michael J. Stars. Yokum. Yep. Corey L. Yokum. President Gilmore, yes. I present the graduates of Heavy Construction Equipment Technology, Caterpillar Equipment Emphasis, Operator Emphasis, Technician Emphasis, <coughs> Diesel Technology, On-Site Power Generation, Diesel Technician, all within the School of Transportation and Natural Resources Technologies. Corey Logan Beal. Jason F. Bloom. Boyle. <laughs> Devin M. Boyle. Oh, Devin! Jacob Tyler Buchanan. Powell Gahagan. Powell. Powell Gahagan. Gahagan. Yep. Daniel Powell Gahagan Daly. Daniel William Deshong. Deshong. Yep. Daniel William Deshong. Sorry. Gregory M. Duvall. Fogelman. Yep. Jared Thomas Fogelman. <laughs> Nicholas John Grady. <laughs> Emily Catherine Helmus. <laughs> Zachary A. Hurley. Ricky L. Johnson, Jr. Benjamin James Kaufman. Samuel A. King. Coke. Cock. 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 Yep. J Joseph David Cock. Colva. Andrew Boyd Colva. Herbert Eugene Lunt, Jr. Christopher James Manning. Maslonic. Yeah, Maslonic. Maslonic. Garrett J. Maslonic. McClurg. 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 Yeah. Liam Sasha McClurg. McQuaid. Macklin T. McQuaid. Andrew Joseph Pace. Cody Ryan Schenk. Tyler James Schultz. Specht? Yep. Jordan Franklin Specht. Lyle Charles Troutman. Tristan P. Wheatley. J. 
Jacob Bryce Yoder. Kyle W. Bloom. Bold. Yep. Bold. Bold. Yeah. Bold. Yeah. <laughs> Curtis Justin Bull. Adam Christopher Bush. Thomas Dean Hilko. Darren Edward May. Rieger? Yep. Adam J. Rieger. Simmons? Herb C. Simmons. Barnett? Barnett. Barnett. Corey Tyler Barnett. Hanstein. Hanstein? <laughs> Joseph Paul Hanstein. Sheldon N. Smith. Andrew David Wolf. Charles Martin J. Bodek. Cataldi. Cataldi. Yes. Paul Anthony Cataldi. Hazler. Jacob Stephen Hazler. Hayden D. Hendricks. Sean Milton Halk. 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 Sean Milton Halk. Joshua Daniel Leroy Kelly. Jesse R. Rhodes. Nathaniel Kyle Sanders. A halt. Jonathan A. Halt Wolf. Kevin Thomas Duncan Jr. Jill Nicole Helmus. Jill, Jill Nicole Helmus, please. Jill Nicole Helmus. Seraphine? Yes. Jonathan A. Seraphine. Drew T. Smith. Nathan R. Woods. DeRoff? Yep. Kevin Young DeRoff. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of Forest Technology within the School of Transportation and Natural Resources Technologies. Cody D. Galvis. How do you say this? Evan Helbley. Evan Daniel Helbley. Seth Keaton Knable. Derek Sterner Labs. Shelby Caitlin Metcalf. Shelby Caitlin Metcalf. Sharon Louise Morris. Mm -hmm. Sharon Louise Morris. Kenneth A. Riggle. Karen Patricia Sangle. Karen Patricia Sangle. Mm -hmm. Karen Patricia Sangle. Swigert with a long eye. Swigert. Thank you. Jeffrey A. Swigert. President Gilmore, I present the graduates of Landscape Horticulture Technology, Landscape Emphasis, Plant Production Emphasis within the School of Transportation and Natural Resources Technologies. Samuel G. Bubb. Daniel F. Clark. Forrest. Yep. Wyatt C. Forrest. Macaulay. Uh huh. Connor Ryan McCauley. Rennie? Yep. Logan John Rennie. Emily Marissa Schmidt. Michaela Umstead. Yep. Michaela J. Umstead. Zachary. Zachary Alexander Green. PCT Baseball Club. 
Andrew Stephen Manley. Yep. And Andrew Stephen Manley. Okay, here's the deal. If you hold that, if you hold that, do you, are there any more beach balls? Seriously, because I'm not gonna let them take any more away. So, so I just have like one rule. If you have, if you have them, like if you have them, I know you have them. Um, <laughs> Okay, I just need like two minutes, and then I don't care what you do with the beach balls. Okay? Deal? Deal. Okay. So your connection to the college, you know, does not end today. Officially, you are now members of the Alumni Association. That's a big deal to us, because we want to hear about your success. So you're gonna hear from the alumni relations people on a regular basis. They're gonna tell you about what's going on on campus and we expect you to keep us informed about your success because it is your success that fuels us for the future. In about six months, you're going to get a graduate survey and we would really appreciate it if you'd fill that out because we really like to hear how you're doing on your first set of jobs and what your improvements and your promotions have already been because I know how successful you will be. Now the reason I say two minutes is that it's my privilege to be the last person to get to talk to you before you go celebrate. And it's a privilege I take pretty seriously. So for the next one and a half minutes, I would ask you to just imagine it's just this giant group in the middle and me and nobody else. I'm not sure you realize how you've touched our lives and it's my job to try to convey that to you in these last few minutes. And I was coming here today, I'm going to another graduation tomorrow. My goddaughter is graduating from Bucknell University. So of course I planned ahead and I had to go get a card. That will be four graduations in three days for me. No more handshaking though. And I was standing at the card counter, you know where you select the card, and these two women were standing there and, and one of them looked at me and she said, so you had graduation yesterday. Clearly she had seen the newspaper, which was hard to miss that we had graduation yesterday. And I said, yes. And she said, so you're done. And I said, oh no, I said, we have two more today. And then we're finished until August, until December. And they smiled, and I was trying to pick out my card and hurrying, and she's, the lady said to me, we just want you to know, we know who you are. <laughs> I said thank you and walked away. <laughs> Since then, I've thought of a lot of great things like, would you like a selfie? <laughs> but seriously, you know who I am? I'm the luckiest person in the world today because I get to say goodbye to you on behalf of all of these people. You leave here today as academic scholars. You leave here today as athletes. You leave here today as volunteers. You leave here today as successful students. You leave here today as people with a new chapter in their book, and not everybody gets a new chapter. It's not a do-over, it's a new page. It's a blank page that you can write on, and you can make it anything you want. So I ask you to pay attention to this. This plaque is on my desk. It says you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. Now like any good scholar, yeah, it's a pretty good saying. <laughs> like any good scholar, I looked up who said this. It wasn't Steve Jobs. It wasn't Gandhi, and it wasn't somebody that most of you in this room will even know who it is. Mae West said this. <laughs> yeah, I knew the middle wouldn't laugh. <laughs> Let's just say Mae West was an actress, screenwriter, playwright, but here's the cool thing. 
None of us ever thought Mae West would say something like this. So you know what? You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. So you've got one shot at this new chapter. Give it all you have. Take what you've learned from these fascinating faculty behind me and make a difference in the world. And most of all, please make us Penn College proud. Thank you. I invite those who are able to stand. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. And everyone join in singing of the Penn College alma mater. You may find the words on page two of your bulletin. <laughs> <laughs>